Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music, through my eyes. And today we have a review of the new film, Promising Young Woman, and this is the first movie review that I have with Mr. Tyler Tolan. Tyler Hi. Cornelius Tolan, or Tyler John Tolan, whatever <laughs> you prefer. I prefer the former. I'm okay with both. So, that's fine. Promising Young Woman is a 2020 American black comedy thriller film written, produced, and directed by Emerald Fennell in her feature directorial debut. Margot Robbie serves as a producer through her Lucky Chap Entertainment production company. This film stars Carrie Mulligan, Bo Burnham, Allison Brie, Clancy Brown, Jennifer Coolidge, Laverne Cox, and Connie Britton. Based on true events, it tells the story of a woman who seeks to avenge her best friend who was a victim of rape. So going into this review, I've seen Promising Young Woman before, but I wanted the message of the movie and the sequence of events to kind of sink in a little bit more, so I brought Tyler with this week. So we're going to start off, I know he looks very appreciative of this incredibly dark movie. I am very appreciative, just, actually. So Tyler, what were your just overall thoughts on this film? It hits hard. <laughs> like, I mean, metaphorically, not literally, but like it's one of those things that needs to be said, and it's not going to be pleasant for anybody watching it, but it needs to be said. So basically this film revolves around Carrie Mulligan's character who's basically stuck in her in her grief and in her uh, not denial of the situation but she can't accept the fact that this happened moved on with her life so she's basically trying to go on re and get, seek revenge, seek justice even though it's not really there to be found and it takes some dark turns and the ending is probably the most shocking part of this movie entirely but I will not give it away here because it is a newer film so if you want to see it make sure you go and watch that first. We won't give away the ending here but I I think this movie did a great job of balancing two tones that could maybe not work well together because a lot of the movie is very dark and satirical but then there's weird awkward that could not not awkward but could be perceived yeah. as awkward moments when there's infiltrations of pop music or a happy montage scene in a pharmacy so what do you think of some of the performances in this movie Tyler what you th I know you like Bo Burnham so what did you think of him in this film at times, I liked him. He was good for the most part. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, he was one of the better characters. Well, also because he makes little quips like he does in like his comedy. He makes a bicycle joke. It's great. So you're a fan of his stand-up, but you did not come to his show when we were in college, and he played in our <laughs> college gym. I wasn't into Bo Barnum at that time. It yes, took me you were. <laughs> we all were. That's when he was popular. <laughs> it took me until like junior year of college to finally get into Bo Burnham. I was so. <laughs> there and it was fantastic and he does delivers a really good performance in this. I'm glad to see him stepping out into a little bit of bigger roles as far as an actor goes because he really came out of the scene as far as major motion pictures a couple years ago in the film 8th grade which was a great directorial debut from him and Carrie Mulligan is in this movie. She does a phenomenal job. Of course we all know her as Ryan Gosling's love interest from the hit film Drive and then she was also in movies like The Great Gatsby. She was this movie really hinged on her performance because you need to buy her mental state of mind and she delivers a very unhinged performance and I think that really aided this film quite a bit and overall the supporting cast was all believable but there were some characters that Tyler couldn't get over because they were in other things Tyler <laughs> mentioned there's one character at the end that kind of took you out of things can you explain that a little bit yeah, so it's uh, Max Greenfield. Any of you watch New Girl? He plays Schmidt in New Girl. I mean, first season of New Girl. He doesn't do anything illegal, but he's just kind of unlikable. But in this film, he plays a more unlikable person. And now I don't know if I can watch New Girl without thinking of Promising Young Woman. There's a lot of different cameos that pop up in this movie. Famous actors that just are there for a scene and quickly leave. Another positive aspect of this movie is I think the musical choices really aid it because there's this cool orchestral version of Britney Spears' Toxic that pops up towards the end. It's in the trailer and it's also in the movie. One of the rare films where that ever happens. Usually they use a badass song in the trailer and never ends up in the movie. At certain points the mood is reflected by happy pop music other times it's sad orchestral kind of things and the atmosphere of this movie i would describe it as dread for the most part it's kind of like a somber dread thing but then at times there are like kind of like little bits of happiness there's a lot of positive aspects to promising young woman but the ending i really enjoyed the twist that they they went with it but i feel like there is a scene at the very end the very last scene that felt like a tacked on studio note and then the reality of it is it actually was a tacked on studio note i think if this movie ended maybe five minutes prior i would have liked it even more i'm like oh my gosh that was even more shocking because they do a little bit of i don't want to say fan service but 
little bit of bitter, like a bit of a bittersweet ending towards the end. It was bittersweet. It wasn't bitter. It felt bitter for a while. It, yeah, it felt bitter for a while, but then it turns into this kind of bitter, bittersweet moment where there's, you know, not, not hope, but like <laughs> positive twist on it. It feels like you just saw your cat get run over by the neighbor, but then you go home and you see that you got a package in the mail that you weren't expecting. That's I mean, yes. A small glimmer of hope I mean, at the end of a very <laughs> shitty rainbow. That's how the ending of this movie felt. I enjoyed the ending. I just thought it pulled its punch a little bit, even even so slightly. Everyone should watch it. It hits. You should some... watch it with your mother. I'm sure it will hit close to home for some people, but you should watch it even if you can't empathize with it. Yeah, I think you should watch this movie. One, because it's the COVID-19 pandemic and there ain't shit coming out, so you're basically forced Support to Support physical it. media. Don't... I know that's what he says, but I'm going to say it this time. <laughs> I think the amount of people that are going to see Wonder Woman 1984 to this is probably about 100 to 1. And don't support that crappy film. Support well-made films by new directors. This is a great movie, albeit a little bit dark, so maybe not everybody will love it, but it is a movie I recommend. So Tyler, out of 10, what would you give Promising Young Woman? 8.5, actually 9. 9 out of 10. I've got an 8.5. I like this movie a lot. I think if they didn't pull the punch at the end, and I think if they maybe went a little bit farther in the as far as the plot, as far as some of the implications there are, there's a lot of things that happen off screen that we would have liked to see on screen that maybe would have added to the tension or added to the stakes a little bit, because we're not really sure what some of these characters are capable of. So when you hear in passing, it maybe doesn't hit as home as it could have otherwise. We got an 8.5 here. Nine here, Promising a Woman, that's a strong recommendation. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram, and like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed, you've been watching Pete on our media, keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. It's every guy's worst nightmare getting accused like that. Can you guess what every woman's worst nightmare is? I wanted to be a doctor my whole life. Lately, I've been feeling like I might want to get back into it.